Hey folks, this is Josh Stoney Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today we're going to take it in the garden and we're going to show you how we do our trellising. This will be our trellising for our tomatoes, trellising for our gourds, trellising for our cucumbers, all kinds of fun stuff. So come along today, we'll give you some ideas on how to trellis your garden. This is a simple, easy trellising system that I think anybody could do. So come along, let's go have some fun, all right? So guys, before we get started with today's vlog, I wanted to show you a cool product that a viewer sent me and they gave me a 25% discount code. So today's day sponsor is that viewer. There'll be a scrolling 25% discount code for these gloves. These are a high temp silicone glove. And I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this or not, but when you get your grill out and you get it all fired up, this thing is showing 585 degrees. Well, I like to open the grill up and I like to give it a good scrubbing before I get started. Now, before I had these gloves, which are super duper flame resistant heat resistant I just put them on the grill before I had these gloves I had to singe the hairs off my arm now it goes all the way up your arm and you don't have to singe the hairs on your arm so there'll be a link down below in the video description it also comes with two of these pork pullers and a little bitty basting brush that's made out of the same heat resistant silicone pretty cool product thanks a lot guys let's get to the vlog and I want to show you the latest addition to the Stony Ridge farm family down here we've got six baby ducks check them out hey little duckies Hey little fellas and ladies. We got these ducks unexpectedly. My boss has a bunch of ducks and they were sitting on eggs and she's like, I don't know what to do with all these babies. So we've got the babies. <laughs> cool, let's get in the garden. Now, before we get started trellising the garden, I wanted to show you what we've got. Our tomato plants are starting to lean. In other words, it's time to get them supported on something. And what we're gonna use in the garden here are just simple T-posts. We're gonna drive in T-posts in the ground and we're gonna place those concrete reinforcement panels. And I think they're about seven foot by about five foot tall and it works great for trellising. All you have to do is weave your tomato plant up through there as it grows. So pretty cool system. So we've already set up a trellis for our cucumbers. I'll take you over here and show you what we're doing. So folks, right down here is our row of cucumbers. And here is our trellis system. And these are those panels that I was telling you about. And basically, we're just zip tying them to the post. Now you can see here, I've supported the panel up off the ground. So we'll put about three zip ties per post. And we put our post probably every four feet right here. And that's how we'll be supporting our tomatoes and our cucumbers and pretty much everything in the garden this year. And you can see leftover vines from last year. Now guys, if you're new to the vlog, you may not know that I'm a big fan of zip ties. I found a lot of uses for zip ties and this is just one of the many uses. We're just gonna zip tie in three places on each post, nice and snug up against this post and we'll go all the way down the line. And then we'll come back and we'll snip off our end so it looks nice and neat and that'll be our garden trellis. Let's go over here and I'll show you how we start the trellis. We'll start the first panel. I'll show you how it all starts out. It's really simple and it's something that you can do on your own by yourself. Pretty cool, let's go. Seems like a good time for a garden update. Our corn is doing really well and our weeds are doing really, really good. <laughs> Here's one of these panels and it's basically, like I said, about six feet by, yeah, four or five feet high. And we're gonna support this panel probably eight inches off the ground, enough to get it up pretty much to the top of the post so that our tomato vine will grow up high and just kind of bush out and bush over. Now the simple way to do this is just start one zip tie here on the end and then we'll raise it up. So first thing we're gonna do is slide it down in where it needs to go. Take care of our little tomato plants. So they're gonna be taking care of us and we're kinda gonna set it right on top of the T-post. We're gonna take a zip tie and just lightly attach it to the post. Just like that. Now we're gonna go over here, we'll raise this end up, we'll get a zip tie, and we wanna make sure that the little knobs on the T-post are facing the side that you put the metal grate, okay? And we'll go right on there, slip our zip tie on, snug him down tight, and now that one's good. And basically, I'll go all the way down the line right here, there's probably eight more panels or five more panels, and I will zip tie those panels together, and I'll zip tie them to the post. Pretty cool. Watch. Okay, slide your zip tie on, holding your fence panel in place, and just snug him up tight, just like that. If you get to a junction where two pieces come together, you can always zip tie those two together, and I like to crisscross over the line. And I'll show you what I mean by crisscross right here. Here's what I mean by crisscross. I cross up these two right here, 
and zip them together just like that. And then I'll come back and snip that. So I'm just gonna get busy here and I'm gonna go right on down the line, zip tying these things up. So guys, just a little bit of food for thought before we go. We're gonna trellis the entire garden just like this, okay? So when we get our tomato plants tall enough to where we can weave them in and out, we'll weave them in and out of this trellis material. It is rusty, it will last you for years. I've had some of this stuff for six years and it looks the exact same as it did the day I bought it. So something you need to think about is get some heavy duty outdoor type zip ties for doing this job, okay? If you're gonna do this job, you wanna do it right. You don't wanna get a couple hundred pounds of tomato vines and tomatoes on here and then all of a sudden, boof, the whole thing falls down. So get the right zip ties, do a good job, support them very well, err on the side of using more zip ties than you think you'll need and you'll have a good trellis for your tomato plants and good trellises in your garden. That way things will be easier to pick and it won't be a big mess. So thanks a lot guys. Come on back and see me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I appreciate you. I hope this helped you a little bit. We wanted to show you what kind of trellising system we're gonna use in our garden. Now we've probably got another 250 feet of trellis to run, so we're gonna get busy. Thanks a lot guys. Please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you see anything in any of these vlogs or have any questions, please ask questions. Put some comments down there if you have other suggestions. All right, I appreciate you. We'll see you next time.